Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me. He's the one that I adore. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Sister Monica. Good morning, anointed to praise. Good morning, Brother Giles. God bless you, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Reese. God bless you, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, um, Brother Sister Young. God bless you. Good morning, Elder Sister Dorset, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. God bless you. Good morning, Mika. God bless you. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Young, Lady Young, and the Rock Church of Brockton and your precious family. Good morning, Sister Gibson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister McAthity. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Katrina. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Rock. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Lady Alde. God bless you and your family and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Mother Carr. God bless you. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Lestine. God bless you, Sister Cheek. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Mother Hudson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Katrina, God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Sessions. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you, Deacon Grant. Good morning, Sister Clinette. God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Francine. Good morning, Sister Sally. God bless you. Sister Sylvia. Good morning, Minister and Sister Dawes. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and and Sister Briggs, God bless you. Good morning, Pastor and Sister Goins. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Tibbs. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Beverly. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Maxine Lewis. God bless you. Good morning, God bless you. God bless you, Sister Tibbs. Good morning, good morning. God bless you you sister rogers good morning to you good morning deacon and mother wilson god bless you well good morning and praise the lord everybody and welcome to the morning prayer with pastor reginald davis and as always it's an honor it's a privilege and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer for more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know and i'm thanking god for everything he's doing hallelujah in our family i thank god for family member had surgery yesterday 
today and came through it okay. And we thank God for her continued recovery. Thank God because he's answering prayer. A member of our congregation underwent surgery, came through it okay. And we're praying for God's will to continue to be wrought in the lives of the people of God. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Ref Re Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD. And to everybody on the conference call, and we thank God for all of our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube, everybody that's able to share. We thank God for all of you and you can text in, you can place it in the chat, you can send it um, by messenger or you can text at 336 Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text in your prayer requests. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders to take place in your life. Come and go with me now. We're in the fifth chapter of the book of Proverbs, and I want to read today verses three through 14. So bear with me. Proverbs chapter 5 verses 3 through 14. For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life her ways are movable, that thou canst know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house, lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed and say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I am almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly in the midst of the congregation and assembly. I want to talk to you today from the subject warnings about the strange woman. Warnings about the strange woman. The writer Solomon devotes a great deal of time to the issues of um, our relational choices. I'll start there. Our relational choices. You know, who you bring into your life, who you bring into your bed, who you bring into your house, whose house you go into, they are critical decisions. It's um, strange to me, that's the word I'll use, that for whatever reason, the church has stopped warning people concerning relationships. Who are you hooking up with? Who are you dating? Who are you seeing? Who are you connecting and associating yourself with? Because it almost appears as if we have left that um, teaching on the sidelines. You don't hear it much anymore. You don't hear it discussed. We talk about marriage in terms of um, communication and um, things of that nature. But, you know, if you hook up with the wrong person, it'll get in the way when the right person comes along. And I sincerely believe that for many of us, the enemy sends people into our lives for the purpose of our destruction. I think some of the men that women meet, some of the women that men meet, 
in, in my honest opinion, have been sent by the devil. And they have been sent by the devil for the purpose of destroying that person's life. Because believe it or not, the wrong person in your life can destroy your life. The wrong person in your house, the wrong person in your bed can destroy your life. And that's why if the Lord has blessed you with a good man or a good woman and you're married and you're growing your relationship, you ought to be grateful. And that gratitude ought to be part of what keeps you from falling into a um, lascivious or an ungodly relationship. And, and that's the warning. That's the warning. Um, as I said a moment ago, um, or said yesterday, that the lips of a strange woman are like honeycomb. They're sweet. They make you think that you are uh, a thousand feet high. They make you think that you're the greatest man or the greatest woman on the planet because they tell you that. They tell you that they're full of flattery and there's nothing wrong with complimenting somebody that you care about. There's nothing wrong with complimenting a man or complimenting a woman. But when the end is seduction, that's a problem. It's not just a compliment, it's seduction. It's an attempt to pull you away either from your relationship with God or from your relationship with your spouse. That's the purpose. That woman is flattering you and telling you that she can't talk to anybody the way she talks to you and she can't trust anybody like she trusts you and she feels so comfortable with you and she knows you're married. Mm -hmm. She knows you're attached to somebody, but yet there is a mindset and a spirit of seduction. And that's why the warning is that it's going to lead to bitterness. It's going to lead to death and destruction. The Bible says in verse 5, her feet go down to death. Hallelujah. Her steps take hold on hell. She is trying to lead you. That's why the Bible calls her a strange woman. And it's not just strange women out there. There are strange men out there. And they're, per and they're strange because they are alien from God. They are detached from God. They are not connected with God. They are not who God has sanctioned for your life. And you know, before you look at anything else, I believe this. Yeah, when you're looking for a person to love and to be loved by, yes, you want somebody attractive. Let's not lie about that. You want somebody that looks good to you. You want somebody that smells good, that has a nice personality, that is, is somebody that you want to spend time with. You share things in common, but the, the, but the primary thing that you ought to look for first, the prerequisite, the prerequisite is do they love God? Because if they don't love God, they are never going to love you the way you need to be loved. If they don't love God, if they don't have a connection and a relationship and a fellowship with God, they are never going to be able to give you what you need in that life. So you need somebody that loves God who is not strange to God. Because if they're strange to God, you're going to have a hard time dealing with this person. The Bible says, Hallelujah. As we look further in this text, her feet go down to hell, lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable that thou canst not know them. In other words, there's a deceptiveness. There's an instability in their life. Yeah, they'll go with you to church to placate you. But do they ever pray when you're not around? Do they ever read the word? Do they have this Holy Spirit? Are they living for God? Because if they're not living for God, they're going to have a hard time, my God, living with and living for you. He says this, the ways are unstable. They are predictably, they stagger here and there, and they have no real concern about what's going to happen. I need to warn somebody, you're entangled with somebody that is really, really outside of the will of God, really outside of the plan of God, has no love and respect for God, and 
they're not going to be able to give you the kind of love that you need. He says, hear me now. Look at verse 7. O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Don't, don't ignore this. The church is ignoring this. And that's why we've got people married and divorced and divorced and married and married again and married again. All searching for somebody that the Lord didn't sanction. All searching for somebody that the Lord didn't call. All searching for somebody that God didn't bring into your life. The enemy brought them into your life. And they're there to wreak havoc and to wreak destruction. He says this, remove thy way. Remove thy way far from her. And come not nigh the door of her house. This is a warning. Don't go to the house. Hallelujah. You know, years ago, I'm, I'm, I'm going real old school. Years ago, hallelujah, we taught men that you didn't go to a single woman's house alone. Hallelujah. If you went there to check on her or to visit her, hallelujah. And, and, and if you were dating, that was a little bit different. But just you dropping in on somebody and you never went to a married woman's house when her husband wasn't there. You didn't go to the house. You didn't hang out. You stood on the porch and you talked to her. You stood at the step and you talked to her. But you didn't go in intermingling because some, some of these calls are traps. Oh, they call. Oh, I want you to come by and pray for me. I want you to come by and counsel me. I'm having a problem with this or that. Meet him at the church. Meet him at the church. Meet him in the prayer room. Meet him in the fellowship hall. Meet him somewhere else, but don't go to their house because that may be a setup. I know this is old style teaching, but I need you to understand that's where so many troubles come from. That's where the accusations come. That's where the temptation comes is when you create scenarios that put you at risk and you don't need to create a scenario with a man or a woman that puts you at risk, that causes you to compromise compromise your commitment to God that causes you to compromise your relationship and your fellowship with God. He says, don't go to the house lest I give thine honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel. In other words, hallelujah, this path can lead you into trouble. It can lead you, it, and, and this is a reference even to slavery. It can leave you into slavery. You want to love a woman. You want to love a man. But you don't want to be a slave to anybody. Let me say that again. You want to love a woman. You want to love a man. You want to have a healthy relationship. You want marriage. You want fidelity. But you don't want to be a slave. And some of these men, some of these women are trying to make you into a slave. That you'll do anything to be with them. That you'll compromise your spiritual integrity. That you'll compromise your righteousness and your holiness just so you can be with this person. And then once they have you enslaved, they keep you enslaved. You're running to them every time they call. You're neglecting your job. You're neglecting your responsibilities because they've got you in their clutches. Oh God, there's an obsessive love that you have to guard yourself against. There's an obsessive attraction that you have to guard yourself against. That you can't just say, I just got to be with them. I can't go to church. I can't go here. I can't go there because they have you in a trap. They have you in a trap and it's a form of slavery. Lest thy strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. Oh God, this these hookups that, hallelujah, now let me talk about the men for a second. These hookups these men get involved in that, that is no love, is no relationship. You don't intend to live with them, but then a baby comes up and you're bound for life. You're bound for life. Child support. If you don't pay child support, you're going to jail. But if you hadn't been there, you wouldn't have to pay child support. I'm going to say that again. If you hadn't been there, you wouldn't be running paying child support. Yes, that's your child. Yes, you ought to provide and care for that child. But if you're not in a relationship with the mother, you have created a lifetime of bondage. If you're not in love, if you're not planning to, if you're not married to the mother, I, I got only one set of children. Oh God, and it's not because I'm better than anybody else, but God 
God has been gracious. Only got one set of children. Hallelujah. Know who my children are. Nobody's going to pop up saying, oh, this is your son. This is your daughter. Because I know everywhere that I've been. Hallelujah. But when you don't know, when you're just indiscriminately spreading your seed, what they, sow, what they say, sowing those wild oats. But my brother, my son, those oats are going to spring up. Yes, they are. Those oats are going to grow into something. And it's going to be a lifetime of bondage with somebody you don't love. Somebody you don't care about. You love the children, but you can't stand the mother. You love the children, but the mother can't stand you. That's a lifetime of bondage. I'm trying to warn somebody. Now, if you're there, all you can do is have the best relationship that you can. All you can do is give your child support, pay your money, support those children because they're yours. But if you can avoid it, if you can avoid it, these are the warnings. These are the warnings. And my time is up and I'm not done. Hallelujah. We'll come back to this tomorrow. But these are the warnings about the strange woman. And yes, the warnings about the strange man. You don't want to be tangled up with somebody that's going to compromise you for the rest of your life. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious and eternal God, I love you. I thank you for your grace, your goodness, your mercy your love. I thank you, God, for last night's rest and God waking us this morning in our right minds. We were able to get out of the bed. We were able to get prepared to start the day and we were able to join this great cadre of believers, Lord, from all over the world. I thank you today for the morning prayer family. And I thank you, God, that you, hallelujah, have brought us together one more time. And we're here in your presence today, God. And I'm asking you to flood this prayer room, hey, God, with your anointing this morning. Whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or conference call, however we have arrived, God, I am praying that your power, that your anointing, that your presence might be with us. I'm praying, God, that you would touch every heart and mind and soul. Hey, God, this morning, I'm praying that you would strengthen everybody, oh God, on this prayer line. And I'm praying for every request, whether it's come through the chat or by text or messenger or email, however it's come, God, we are praying for your sons and daughters today. We want you to bless God in the name of Jesus, Bishop and Lady Alde, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Jenkins, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop Clifton Staten today, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady D. As Bishop and Lady Wallace today, Apostle and Lady Keith today, Apostle and Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle and Mother Jackson, Apostle and Mother Moultrie today, Apostle, hallelujah, and Mother Reuben, Apostle and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark today, Apostle and Lady, hallelujah, McCoy. God, I'm praying for everybody, hallelujah, on this line today that you would touch and strengthen them now. God, remember David. God, remember Quindora. God, remember Tasha and Latoya and Ricky Harper. Remember Debbie Harshaw today. Remember Tyler. Remember Deja. Remember Tamara. Remember Charnette. Remember Devin and Charles today. Remember Cheryl Barnwell. Remember Mary Beckett. I pray today for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. I pray, oh God, for Irvin Johnson. I pray deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Mother Barbara Pittman, for Deacon Lewis. Oh God, I pray for Sister Sheila Reed. I pray for Kaya Ann and Keelan today. I pray for Stacy and Trayvon. I pray for the Mason family. I pray for Lady Lisa Kinchin today, for Sister Seneca Austin. I pray for the Edward 
Edwards family, the Myers family, the Butler family, the Stacy family, for Jamal and Dakasha Greer and the Greer family, for Terrence and Manessa Greer today. I pray for Dexter. I pray for miracle. My God, for deliverance of this young woman right now. I pray for Makeda. I pray for Hodges today. I pray, God, that you remember Latasia. God, I pray for Walter Daniels, for Bernice Neal. I pray for Stefan and for Bradley today. I pray, God, that you prepare, oh God, our hearts for this mission trip next week. I pray, God, that you would go there and prepare the land, prepare the souls, oh God, that would receive us. Prepare the saints, my God, to support the work and prepare all of those and give us traveling mercies. I pray, God, for Jamal and Erica today. I pray for Shakita. I pray for Adrian and Mother Gardner today. I pray for Ricky. I pray for Julie. I pray for Cheryl Rogers today. Lord, we're praying that you remember Brenda Higdon today, God. Remember Tashonda Davis. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Ethel Burt Slater. Remember Abigail Slater. Remember Artis Slater Jr. Remember Artis Slater. Remember Kayla Davis, Angelica Slater, Jalen Jackson today. Remember the Slater family. Remember Marquita. Remember Annette Hamilton. Remember Randolph, the Randolph family. Remember Ivory today. Remember my God that, oh God, bless family in Pakistan. God continue to cover, protect them and use them to your glory and to your honor. Lord, everybody on this prayer list, God, I'm praying for you to save Oh, Shiataye Shama. Oh, God, save right now. Oh, God, don't let them be lost. But God, draw them to the cross. Draw them to repentance. Draw them to be born of the water and of the spirit. I pray for backsliders today. My God. Oh, God, don't let them be deceived. God, wake them up, Jesus. Oh, God, wake them up to the need for faith. Wake them up for the need of deliverance. And God, restore them and revive them. And I pray. Pray, my God, for the burden, the broken, the downcast, those in despair, those in discouragement, those in depression. God, that you would lift their heads, that you would comfort their hearts and keep them in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today for the healing of the sick everywhere. I'm praying, my God, for Kathleen Murphy Jackson. I'm praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. I'm praying for Zebra. I'm praying for Pastor Kevin Kinchin, for Mother Lillian Sharp. I'm praying for Mother Revis today, Mother Bryant, for Sister Jackie Poole. I'm praying for Sister T today. I'm praying for Charity Stroman. My God, stretch out. Oh God, your healing hand. I'm praying for Bo. I'm praying for Mabel today. I'm praying for Miracle Destiny. Remember that precious child. I'm praying for Priscilla. I'm praying for Diane Cooper today. I'm praying for Minister Chris Wright. I'm praying for Missionary Teresa. Oh God, I'm praying my God that you remember. Oh God, Missionary. Oh God, Bryant today. I'm praying that you remember. Oh God, God, Justine Johnson, God, remember them, God, in touch and heal in the name of Jesus Christ. Deacon Ganey today, I'm praying, my God, for Lady Davis. I'm praying for Geneva. I'm praying for Azaria. I'm praying, my God, for Venetia. Lord God, touch her body now. Oh God, the spirit, the soul, and the mind. I'm praying for Aquanetta Williams, for Michael Williams, for Cynthia Caldwell. I'm praying for Jen Fortinot's mom. I'm praying for Julie Rasco. I'm lifting up Mother Hudson today. I'm praying, my God, for Barbara, hallelujah, Stevens today. I'm praying for Mother Jesse Davenport. I'm praying for Sister Jackie Poole. I'm praying for Clyde Staten, for Malia, for Deacon Riley, for Sister Barbara Dews, for Deacon Rufus Slater. I'm praying for Coleman today. I'm praying, my God, for Brother Terrence Perry. I'm praying for Javada. I'm praying for Uncle Carl Fuller, for Maybell White, for Tom, for Audrey, for Lillian, for Victorine Morrison today, for Hope Wilkerson Coleman, for Pastor Lola Blunt, for Antonio Williams, for Kevin Williams, for Sue Johnson. Lord, I'm praying for everybody that's sick everywhere. Remember, my God, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel and Xavier. Remember, my God, Deacon Adams. Remember Deacon and Mother Wilson today. Remember Deacon and Sister Harrison. Remember... Brother Phil Solomon today. Remember my God, Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll and Elder Dokes. God, I'm praying today that you would remember my God, Mother, hallelujah, Virgie DuBose. Remember my God, Mother Mary Williams, Mother Perry, Mother Lloyd, hallelujah, Mother Meadows today. Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges today. I'm praying my God for healing in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, for Sister Denise McLean. I'm praying, oh God, for Mother Elizabeth Wilson, for Brother Carl. I'm praying, my God, for Deacon James Grant. Oh God, remember Philip Grant today. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston, Bishop and Mother D, Apostle and Lady Keith today. I pray for Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close. I'm praying for Mother Coleman today, for Sister Shakaya Polk. God, I know that you're a healer. Remember Bishop Richard Phillips today, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Hallelujah Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis today, Mother Viola Johnson. Remember my God, Lady Hardy this morning, Lady Williams. Remember Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady J, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today, God. Lord, send your healing virtue. Remember, my God, Apostle, hallelujah, Herbert Evers, Apostle, oh God, Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, remember in the name of Jesus, oh my God, Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember, my God, Mother Garland today. Remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. Remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today that you remember Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray. God, remember in your precious name, Brother and Mother Chambers today. God, remember Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead in the name of Jesus. God, remember Lady Staten. Remember Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. Mother Foster, Henry J. and Brother Cliff. Remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Home and Missionary Simmons today. Lord, I pray that you remember Cynthia, Catherine and Duchess. Lord, look on Marlette. Look on Maurice. Look on Tony, Dennis, Kimberly today. Look on Chris this morning. Look on my God. Hallelujah. Oh God, Mother. Hallelujah. Jackson today. Look on Cynthia. Look on Apostle Moultrie. My God. God, go to every hospital, every nursing home, every rehab center. My God, everywhere. Oh God, somebody is sick, Lord. Oh God, even in hospice, God, you remain the healer and we're praying for them now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for the grieving today everywhere. God, remember Hallelujah. The Obama Robinson family. Remember Elder Young and his family. Remember Bailey Austin and his family. Remember the family of Reverend Harry Williams. Remember District Elder Shy, Deacon Michael Shy, and the entire Shy family. Remember my God, Minister Jamie Carr and his family. Remember Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. Remember Bishop, hallelujah. Oh God, Henry Davenport and his family. Remember Sister Cheryl Wilson, her sisters and the family. Remember Sister Kimberly Clark. Remember Lady Cuba it today. Remember my God, Mother Viola Johnson this morning. I pray today that you remember Mother Sally Carr today. Remember the Jones family, the Dotson family, the Johnson family, Rita's family. Remember the Monk and Staten families. Remember the family of Sheree Cole, the family of Shirley Jenkins. Remember T and family. Remember Blanche Simmons and family. Remember Mother Lloyd and her family. Remember Melanie Bethea. Remember the family of Pastor Walter Cherry and the congregation. Remember the Bailey Bailey, oh God, remember my God, hallelujah, my cousin, oh God, hallelujah, her family, God, the family of Sheila Allen, remember the Brockington family, the Hamilton family, the Powell family, remember my God, Mother Viola Johnson and her family, remember the Wilkerson family, the Strange family, remember, oh God, Mother Clory and the family today, remember the Smith family, remember Cheney Adams Wilkerson, God, I pray in her family, God, I pray for Mother Moya, hallelujah, and Mother Walker today, I pray for Jalil. Lisa, for Jackie, for Jerry. I pray, my God, for Phoenicia. I pray for, hallelujah, Whitney today and their families. I pray, my God, for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray, my God, for Dr. Carter and the family. I pray for Apostle Phil, Shekinah, my God, and the family. I pray, God, that you would remember, my God, the Quarles family. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Mother, oh God, hallelujah, Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family. I pray, God, that you remember the Groovers, the Kramers, the Hargroves, the Blunts. God, remember the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. Remember the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. I pray, God, for the White family, for Hornita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families, for the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. I pray, God, that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. 
God. Hallelujah. Oh, oh God, remember, hallelujah, Brenda and the Allen McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, the Middletons, the Taylors. God, look on. Oh God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, look on the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family today. God, remember, oh God, hallelujah, the Phillips, the Taylors, the Josephs. Look on, my God. Hallelujah, the Davises, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. God, look on the Harbisons, the Austins, the Adams family, the Austin family, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, remember them now in the name of Jesus and give them grace and strength. Oh, my God, to stay. And I pray for the body of Christ today, for every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, for every bishop and elder, for every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, God. I pray today that you remember, my God, the young people of the church. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, the entire church. God, and help the church. My God, help the church. Oh, God, everybody battling temptation. Everybody fighting in a bad relationship. God, free in the name of Jesus, in your precious name. Oh, God, keep us from those things that will cause us to fall into sin. Oh, God, shelter us now in the name of Jesus. God, remember first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. Remember, my God, school employees and students everywhere. God, I pray for Durham Public Schools. God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ, everybody that works, cover them, keep them, protect them. Everybody that needs a job, make a provision and create an opportunity. Everybody, my God. Hallelujah. That's on a fixed income. God, keep them and sustain them. Everybody, my God, hallelujah, that's homeless. God, open up an opportunity and make a way. God, remember your people today and remember this troubled world because there is trouble all over the globe, but you remain the bomb in Gilead. You remain the great physician. So God, touch and deliver. Oh God, and be the healer of the land. Heal this land from hatred, jealousy, violence violence, sin, injustice, heal this land from hatred, heal this land, my God, hallelujah, from racism and sexism, and let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you like never before. Cover us, keep us, protect us, and we will give your name the glory, honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, hallelujah, and let's give glory to God right now. Everybody on this line, come on, let's give glory, hallelujah, to God. Glory to God, because he is worthy, hallelujah. He is worthy, he is worthy, hallelujah, hallelujah, he is worthy. My declaration today it's something that goes all the way back to childhood. Your parents told you this. Don't go to a strange house. Oh, my God. Don't go into a strange house. And it doesn't just apply to children. It applies to adults. Hallelujah. Don't put yourself in compromising situations and don't go to a strange house. Hallelujah. Don't go there. Stay away from there. Hallelujah. If they don't know God, hallelujah, if they don't love the Lord, if they're not committed to walking with God, don't hook yourself up with them. Don't go, brother. Don't go, sister, to that strange house. Hallelujah. Don't go there. There's destruction waiting to overtake you. There's temptation waiting to compromise you. Don't go to that strange house. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This press service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number and stay with us. You can also 
Stay connected through your giving, hallelujah, of, of gifts to Refuge Temple, to the ministry. This is good ground, hallelujah, and we thank you for your giving because your giving helps us to do the things that we need to do. And if you want to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www www.refugetemple n is in north c is in carolina.com refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page you can also give through the givelify app just type in refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place and you can make your gift there or if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital o n e capital r e f u g e one refuge one refuge the words and you'll see a picture of the church logo and we thank you for your giving but we thank you most of all for being attached to this morning prayer family because God is blessing literally all over the world we just hallelujah connected with a family that is doing ministry in Pakistan Pakistan hallelujah and we were able just to provide some encouragement by the grace of God we're going to minister hallelujah online to that congregation because God wants to move all over the world and God is using morning prayer to do that and we thank God we thank God for what the Lord is doing in our midst. So keep coming to prayer. Keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us. The Lord keep us out of strange houses. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.